I don't think I've ever been in such an empty airport before in my life. Just, I hope it's not expensive. We're Kyle and Jess. In 2021, we sold everything but our suitcases to see great adventures, experience different cultures, and to see more of the world. Over the last year, we've been traveling through Latin America, and today we find ourselves in Mexico, traveling from Oaxaca to Mexico City for the first time. We've been in Oaxaca for one week and we've had so much fun, but it's time to head to Mexico City now. So in Mexico City, there's actually three airports and we are flying into the brand new one that's not even really finished. So we couldn't really find too much information online. No, we couldn't, but we're gonna be sharing our experience with you guys and hopefully you can learn along the way. Let's go. We're flying in that Mexico City via Air Mexico. One of our favorite airlines. The tickets were so cheap, they were actually cheaper than the baggage fees. Yeah, which is a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to swallow those baggage fees, but hey, we'll take a cheap flight any day. We didn't realize that what came with it though is the distance we have to travel to our hotel once we mm. get there. It's about a two hour bus ride yeah. from the hotel. So there's actually, they're building new trains that will take you straight into the city, super easy, but they are not open or ready yet. So we have to take a bus, but I was not able to find much information about what bus we need to take so we're just going for it and we'll figure it out true Kyle and Jess fashion <laughs> we're just gonna wing it and see where it takes us hey it's worked though it's worked so far <laughs> only plane here so I think it's gonna be pretty breezy while we're here we're gonna cover getting our bags transportation and getting around the airport I don't think I've ever been in such an empty airport before in my life you can tell it's brand new everything just has that like new crystal clear yeah. kind of sparkle to it and it's empty yeah and it's completely empty <laughs> never seen an airport so big and so empty before but <laughs> we carry on I guess <laughs> Right now, it seems pretty clear. Lots of signs, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, so. Oh, I forgot to mention. So I was doing some research on this airport and apparently there was a bit of controversy around this airport. Mm. I couldn't really figure out why, but apparently this, there was a battle between two airports, I think, about who was gonna, what airport was gonna be built. So there was another airport that was going to be built. This one ended up getting built instead. And so, there's like a group of people that weren't too happy about so it. So we're not too sure what kind of happened, but there's a bit of controversial around it. So so if you're looking for a rabbit hole to dive deep into, yeah. go Google the controversy of the new Mexico City airports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. So far, going to get our baggage is really simple. Lots of signs, pretty straightforward, I think, right now. I'm going to go get our bags. I did notice this information. This is the list of transportations, the bus. I'm kind of a bit nervous because it's showing us 8.30 and then the next one's not until 12.30. So. <laughs> so we might be cabinet. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But you'll be able to find this information. Booth. Booth. Touch, Touch screen screens, things. information things. So all through the Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we might have to cab it somewhere where we can go get an Uber. You know what I mean? Like cab it out the airport. Mm -hmm. 
than get an Uber somewhere. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Maybe. Because I hope it's not expensive. Yeah, that's one of the things that we really couldn't find too much information on online was the bus schedule for the buses leaving the airport. So there was no bus schedule online to tell us when the buses would be. We had read through some other woman's travel blog that she had taken the bus to the area we were wanting to go. So we know there are buses. We just weren't aware that it's like a pretty limited schedule for them. I so. would guess so though, because it's such an empty airport, it's like why do they have, they don't have all these buses. Yeah. It's just not as popular yet, so it's kind of understandable, but still a bit of uh, a pain when you're on a tight schedule for the day. Because I do have to go to work in the afternoon, so. Yeah, we still, we got to get back and get some things done this afternoon, so we're hoping this doesn't take all day long, but we'll see. This is baggage, it looks like. It's huge. Huge baggage. What's nice is that it's so dead quiet here that you're not waiting in this big mob of people. It is dead quiet here. Okay, we need to transfer all of our overweight stuff back into our suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're pretty bad for packing a little too heavy. As such, we end up having to unload a bunch of things from our suitcase right as we check our bags drag on like three or four personal carry-on bags and now so that we're not dragging them across the city we're gonna repack the suitcases so yeah. let's get to it we have got to get rid of some stuff <laughs> Seen so far, like the airport's pretty easy to navigate around, pretty mm -hmm. self-explanatory. Makes it that much easier with how quiet it is here. I'm not sure if it's the fact that it's a brand new airport or just how early our flight was, but so far it's been pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Definitely. The baggage claim was real easy, but again, that's because there's nobody here. But our bags are the first ones to come up, so that never happens. Well, maybe they were the last and everyone's just already gone. Or maybe they're the last and we just took time filming, but yeah. <laughs> that's okay too. Right now, I think our biggest worry is transportation and how we're gonna get into Mexico City. If the boards are correct, the transportation board, we've missed the bus and the next one's not till lunchtime. So obviously we can't wait around the whole day. We're a little bit worried. Yeah, and from our experience, one of the biggest money grabs in all of Mexico is the taxis, unfortunately. So hopefully we don't need to resort to those. We probably will have to take a taxi to the closest Uber pickup and then just kind of go from there. We can probably Uber down into the city. They're actually building trains right now that will take you straight into Mexico City. They are not open yet, so we do not have that option. No, so keep that in mind if you do watch this a little bit into the future, a few months after we've posted. See if you can't find the train schedule. They may be finished constructing that line. I believe line in 2023 and, they will be. Yeah, so that might be available to you when you come through. For us, unfortunately, we got to just wing it. But let's go see what we figure, figure out. out. Let's go. So we need to get to Roma Norte, which is kind of bang smack in Mexico City. I don't know. Maybe we should do some price shopping. Let's yeah. see how much they're offering, and then we go from there. As you can see, there's a number of taxis just behind Jess. And they're all yelling at us, so let's go see what they're offering to take us to Roma Norte. It says right there, 725. Uh, with butts. With, with what? Butts. Butts? Butts. Oh, toll fee. Oh, toll fee. Oh. So they go through tolls. Right. So, so total. Seems pretty standard price. Okay, uno momento. So the buses were at 8.30, then at lunchtime, 12.30, and I believe there's some at like uh, 3 o'clock. You might want to double check that though, because I think things are going to be changing as the airport grows. We have just came into the taxi shuttle area and it seems a standard kind of price to get us into Mexico City is 850 pesos with the tolls. So total for two people. To the Roma Norte section. Like it's different depending on the area. Well, no, they said Sheraton. They're going to drop us off at... Right, but if you were in a different oh. part of Mexico City... Sorry, okay. 
So to where we are going, Roma Norte to the Sheraton, they're generally charging us around 850. Pretty standard here with the tolls for two people. And the prices are listed slightly differently but then they factor in different fees and it all just comes out to the same right they got you we have to go on toll highways which obviously that's pretty standard in mexico so you have to pay those tolls 850 is not too bad it's about 42 dollars american 55 ish canadian not too bad i remember when we were in coronado we spent 110 dollars to get to we were in Panama City to get to Coronado. It was an hour away and they were charging us $100. So this is not too bad. We did get taken advantage of when we were in Panama though, by the way. If you're looking for information on transportation in Panama, check out this video right here and we got you covered. All right guys, we got our shuttle and we are off. I don't think we'll be taking two hours to get to Mexico City because we're not on a bus. So let's go. They're going fast. It's kind of nice when you're not on a bus because you don't have to deal with the stress of a bus. You know what I mean? Yeah, or the crowd. Yeah. So I think it was well worth the $50. One thing before we leave the airport that I had to mention because I hadn't noticed one yet, we really enjoyed our first experience in an airport lounge when we were flying mm -hmm. through to Oaxaca State. Well, we haven't seen any form of like lounge or any signs for it or anything like that yet here well we are leaving so when you're leaving i suppose yeah. yeah so unfortunately we can't give you guys any information on any of the lounges or anything here because we're just not on the de the departure side of the airport but i'm but sure i think overall our experience in this hotel hotel our experience in this airport was great yeah smooth easy now the real journey begins. Yeah. How long and hard does it take for us to get to our hotel from the airport? Well, we're about to find out. This is luxury. We don't belong here. <laughs> <gasps> look at that, look how cute those are. All right guys, we have made it to our hotel in Mexico City. We are staying at the Sheraton, so it's a bit of luxury for us this time. <laughs> but the airport was really good really clear concise we had no issues at all the only issue i would say was the transportation buses are not running like every hour so if you are on a tight time schedule think about you know your transportation the trains are not up and running until i think he said february sometime in 2023 i would say i think he said february but we'll say 2023 but the trains are not up and running and the buses are a bit iffy so i think that's our only takeaway yeah but thankfully i mean we had a real great driver alejandro was very informative letting us know you know what to look out for as we were driving down the drive here you know it was estimated at about an hour and a half upwards of two hours we got here in like just over an hour so it was real smooth driving not very much traffic we did have to go through a couple of tolls and we did hit a little bit of traffic but not as much as we had expected. yeah because mexico city's crazy traffic so it was not not bad at all but it was nice to get a good look at the city we got to see all the different neighborhoods neighborhoods and like yeah. the colorful houses mm -hmm. up in the mountains it was really cool it was absolutely beautiful a lot of the real cool statues and like monuments of the city as well we saw the big black dark angel as you first get into the mexico city area here. and the face in the houses yeah yeah, yeah so I that, though. yeah we didn't get a good shot of it but oh. it's pretty cool something to look out for when you come here for sure but overall, I think it was actually a really successful travel day, especially because we didn't really research much. We kind of just booked a flight and hopped on a plane and 
went for it. Yeah, there's not much for information on that this airport, this new airport in Mexico City. But, I mean, we were able to kind of just wing yeah, it and it. feel our way through everything. But we hope that we make it so that it's not so in the dark for you when you come to this, when you have to fly in through this airport. So, smooth sailing for us, and we're really happy to be in Mexico City. We're really excited to be here because we have a number of real fun, adventurous excursions so planned for here. So if you haven't yet, make sure to smash that like button and click that subscribe button so that you can continue to follow our journey through Mexico City and beyond. But that's it for today. Until we'll next time. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.